Let's clap for sync up sake. Cool. Well, this is it. <laughs> I'm usually not the one uh, being filmed, so this is kind of weird for me. But um, this is my XLCH, the 1968 XLCH. I'm doing a giveaway, and uh, I'm really sad to be giving it away. But at the same time, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Something's got to go for the new to come in. And that's what's happening. So, uh, yeah, I'll just go over the bike a little bit. It's got, starting from the front here, we've got 1936 RL front wheel with the brake set up and everything. Uh, I don't know what year this 45 front end is, but it's a 45 front end uh, Springer with the RL um what are those called rockers with the rl rockers i got some low boy race bars here um and then we'll go into the gas tank and the fender um this is a original 1948 harley hummer gas tank i never thought i'd get rid of this gas tank but you know i built the bike as is and i thought about taking the stuff off of it but people know this bike as it is so i decided to keep the goodies on there so it's a 1948 gas tank like i said harley hummer original um with the switch and everything it's not plugged in but the switch is there it works and uh this fender was actually if you watch the born free video from two years ago we went to um i don't even know where in socal but we picked up this fender and Chino. Yeah, we went to Chino after Born Free and picked up this fender. I had it strapped on the back of my sissy bar the whole way back. And somehow it matches perfectly with the gas tank. The yellow matches. There's blue under the yellow that matches the blue under the yellow here, which is kind of crazy. So I didn't want to separate these two, kept them together. Um, it's got an original Bates solo seat with, I believe this is like a homebrew pee pad, um, but it matches um sort of and uh, enough. enough yeah we got the uh kr pipes um with the kr hardtail uh iron head rear 18 inch wheel with the bates baja um the best tire on the market right now in my opinion <laughs> and then uh to talk about the motor a little bit it's a 1968 xlch motor um i have the title some people have been asking if i have the title it's titled um it's got a blue tag but that it's an original harley title with the blue tag from way back in the day um it's got a mccuni vm38 carburetor with this uh i want to say it's like a K&N filter but it has the harley logo on there this came with my um panhead so sometime in the 70s was where this air filter came from um the magneto is a sportster magneto chrome body um which is hard to find and i just rebuilt it it's got a brand new coil it's got the pangea speed micro condenser um as for the motor it is a 900 cc iron head engine um i just put in fresh cylinders pistons relapped the valves fresh gaskets all around um and it is running better than ever and while i had it apart i looked at I've always been wondering about this motor because it's fast and uh, I've just been trying to figure out what's like somebody must have hot rodded it back in the day and looking at the rods they're polished and it looks like they shaved down some of the weight from the rods so they're it's it's been hot rodded at some point uh, <laughs> which is cool but um yeah it's got the Harley pedal kicker pedal the Harley pegs original um pretty much i try to put as much original parts on this bike as possible and uh yeah i hope you guys like it but we're doing the giveaway it's uh 69 dollars a ticket 180 spots at this point on what's today march 7th 8th. march 8th um there's about 89 spots available um so a little past halfway but hey you got your chances, you know, there's, there's a big chance that you can win. So it's $69 a ticket and uh, I won't go into detail how to pay in this video, but you can look down in the description below and I'll have all your information there on how to pay, how to enter. Um, all the money is going right back into the business, into 
buying tools that we need, building bikes that we need, and all the things. There's some bikers coming through. You want this, not that. <laughs> Probably the same price, you know? Um, but yeah, all the info is in the description below and also on the 947 Works Instagram page. Um, but here it is. I mean, you know, I took it last year all the way to Yosemite. I took it to Cayuco, so we've been riding it. Me and Blue have been riding it for the last five years, just nonstop. This has been the bike that has been the most reliable bike that I've ever owned. And uh, somehow it just keeps going, man. Um, until it finally decided not to anymore on the Yosemite trip, but that's all taken care of. Uh, the clutch feels great, shifts smooth. Um, it kicks over, as you guys saw, cold kick. It hadn't been kicked over in a couple weeks and kicked over in like three or four kicks um, after priming it. But this thing is bitching, man, it runs great. So if you wanna win it, $69, could be yours. Let's go rip around. <laughs> sick that was so much fun <laughs> <laughs> finally i hill climbed this thing dude
How's it going, everybody? Just wanted to end off this video. Uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. But um, I just wanted to end it off and say we hit 2, 000, uh, 20 thousand subscribers, and I just wanted to thank everybody that's subscribed to the channel so far. I know that videos and stuff have been kind of at a halt, um, but it's been real busy the last three months so far, the beginning of this year. Um, I'm building quite a bit of bikes right now, just every single day, building, building, building. So there hasn't really been much time to edit. Um, I have about five or six videos that have been waiting to be edited. And I know I've said that in the last couple videos, but uh, I finally <laughs> got down, I got some time to edit this one. I injured my back and uh, this, this last week. So um, that gave me some much needed time to edit this video at least and get this one out and I'm gonna try and you know edit more it takes a long time and especially the videos that I have filmed already there are a lot of like working on bikes videos and those take the longest to edit the riding stuff <coughs> is usually pretty quick to edit um, but uh, I just wanted to you know talk to y'all and let you know that I appreciate you and thank you for subscribing and uh, if you want to win the iron head all this information is in the description below um if you don't have an instagram go ahead and email me at 947 works at gmail.com just as an update this is my new uh daily rider i didn't really feel much about this bike i just had to like this was kind of like end of the day end of the work day you know, at 8 o'clock, I stop working on customer stuff, and I start working on my own. And so this was kind of like the weekend warrior, and, you know, whenever I had time, I would start working on this. And uh, this is my new Sportster Chopper, and um, it's got a lot of speed holes, which is pretty cool. But maybe I'll do a full video on this. <clears throat> um, we did a video on Blue's bike, and that should be up soon-ish. Shovelhead's still going. I have a video about that. Um, we have t-shirts available. There's only a few left and a few small sizes, so I'll have that in the description below as well. You can go to 947works.com to get a t-shirt. I printed them all last week. Doing a lot of stuff, so. There's the XS650 project. Um, chopping the Sportster, Allen's Evo. Big twin, single down tube. Um, the panhead's got a flat tire, which is cool. My chopper, building the another Evo big twin chopper for Matt. Um, and then just so many more projects. There was the iron head right there. So it's been busy and I'm not complaining. Um, it's been amazing. And, uh, you know, just gotta get back on this YouTube grind because it is a grind. But anyway, I appreciate you all for watching, and if you want to win the Iron Head, all the information's down below on how to enter. But, um, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content, and uh, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. 20K is crazy. Um, when I started this five years ago, I was not expecting that to happen, so I appreciate you all. But uh, for now, I'll see you later.